Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will learn metric units of capacity. Metric units of capacity. We have liters and milliliters. We know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. We can think of liters as a water pitcher and milliliters as a medicine dropper. That water pitcher holds one liter and the medicine dropper holds one milliliter. If you wanted to fill up a pail with water, would you use milliliters to fill it up or liters? You would use liters to fill it up. Milliliters would take too long and it would actually hold 15 liters. Now, what about a glass of milk? Would you use liters or milliliters? You would definitely have to use milliliters. A glass of milk holds 250 milliliters. Now, what about a baby bottle? Would you use liters or milliliters? Definitely milliliters. And it would actually have a capacity of 260 milliliters. Now, what about a fish tank? Would you use liters or milliliters? I say liters. And a fish tank has a capacity of about nine liters. What about a cooking pot? Would you use liters or milliliters? Liters for sure, milliliters would take too long. A cooking pot can hold about five liters. What about a juice box? Would you use liters or milliliters for a juice box? Milliliters for sure. A juice box can hold around 250 milliliters of juice. What about a can of soup? Could you use liters to fill it up or milliliters? Liters would overflow, so it's gonna have to be milliliters. A can of soup can hold 350 milliliters. Now, how much capacity would a washing machine hold? Liters or milliliters? I would say liters. A washing machine has a capacity of 112 liters. What about a sink? Would the capacity of a sink be in milliliters or liters? I say liters for sure. And a sink can actually hold 32 liters of liquid. What about measuring spoons? Would you use liters or milliliters? Milliliters. And actually, one of those measuring spoons can hold five milliliters. Now remember this, one liter is equal to or the same as 1,000 milliliters. Oh.